All right, folks. Hey, Heather. So that took me a long time. I don't know why. Hey, Dad. I don't know why. Um, it's in some technical issues. I think it's my browser. Anyway, we're all set. Hi, John Short. Hi, James. We're uh, a minute behind, so I want to get jumping in here because I don't want to waste anyone's time. So, hello. Good morning. Let's go ahead and move. Let's go ahead and spread it out. Draw the shoulder blades together. Draw the fingertips out to the sides. Pull the shoulder blades back. Tilt the head back a little bit. Open up the whole front side and breathe into your whole chest, your whole chestal region and your belly and extend. Ah, that's good. Let's go ahead and get the rotation in. Press that heel to the ground. And swing that arm up. Enjoy that opening up. Oh, yes. Into that shoulder abduction. Press the heel down on the other side. Swing it open. Oh, yes. Good. Let's go the other way. Here we go. Ah. Yeah, I think I need to switch browsers on that. I'm gonna lose. I hate losing time. In the morning, people are getting up early for this. Oh, let's go the other way. Keep working. Press that heel there. Mm, yes. And last one on this side. Here we go. Let's go to the last one on this side. That's nice. Okay, good. Nice. Keep the legs spread wide. And from here, let's do a hinge in this position. So I uh, might want to turn the toes out just a little bit. And you can go hands behind the head. Slight bend in the legs. Now fold it over. Ah, just like that. So we still have the back long, right? We're just working with a wider stance. Okay, go ahead and repeat that. Take it forward. Ah, you feel yourself get into those hamstrings nicely. Keep the back long. Keep the elbows wide. Ah, and you can kind of push the butt back, and that will give you some nice leverage. A couple more times. Push back. Ah, so good. Good. Keep it wide. Here we go. One more time. Fold it forward and up. Nice job. Bring the feet into shoulder width. Let's go ahead, since we're in this position anyway, and go ahead into the arm curls. As I say hello to anyone who might have jumped on here, Mr. Short, uh, Elizabeth Rayner jumped in. Hi, Elizabeth. Ooh. Back. Back. Oh, yes, turn those shoulders on. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, go ahead and drop the arms, take the shoulders in a big circle. Going back, pulling the shoulder blades onto the back. Ah, each time. <sighs> Hopefully that area in the shoulder blades is becoming less of a no man's land for people. For a lot of people, it's like, that's back there. I don't know what it is. It's just this weird there be monsters kind of area. Let's go the other direction. Hopefully you're starting to make friends with your shoulder blades and your lumbo thoraco lumbar junction. All right, nice, good. Let's go into some big circles with the arms. Oh, yes. That should be feeling pretty good at this point. Draw those overhead reaches. Oh. Two. Oh. Four. And last one. Good, let's swing it forward. One. One, two, nice, three, and there's four, good work. All right, good. Let's go ahead and get a little side bending in here. Take it easy. Hi, birds. Parrots overhead. Get the Pasadena parrots paying us a little visit here. Left and right with the head, let the shoulders go as well. Nice, head. Forward and back. Go ahead and let those shoulders roll as well. <clears throat> Why not? Good, and let's go ahead and circle the hips here. Circle the hips and then we'll get into the circle of the head in just a moment here. All right, good. Let's go the other direction. 
hips are going. That's all good. That's all nice. All right, good. Let's go ahead and now work the head. Get the head working. Having just worked the hips, you can feel how, okay, you see how those movements are connected. The movements of the hips and the movement of the head because two ends of the spine, right? Let's go the other direction. Hang that head back. Hang it back. Yep. Yes. Good. Nice job. Okay, cool. Let's work a little bit of ankle um, and foot here. So again, just swing the outside of the feet, outside of the feet, <laughs> swing the uh, pinky toe sides of the feet off the ground and then back to flat. Again, pinky toe sides lift, flat, lift, flat, lift, flat, lift, flat, flat. Nice job. Let's balance on one foot. So go ahead and circle that free foot in the air. Let's go the other direction. Pay particular attention as that foot goes to the outside. So really explore that whole area. Good. And let's go ahead and swing the lower leg. Getting that internal and external rotation, holding on to our balance as best we can. And let's switch to the other foot, bring it up 90 degrees, circle the foot, circle the foot, circle the foot, circle the foot, right above. Go the other way, pay particular attention to this outside portion, that foot's going to be outside. That's important. And let's go ahead and swing that foot, internal and external rotation on that hip joint. There it is. Nice job, nice job. Good. Okay, good. Let's go into quad stretch. Take it up. Ah, that's a good one right there. One of our favorites. Stretching those quads. Get them alive. And also practicing our single leg stance as we do this, right? Another multitasking move. Pay attention to what you're doing with the rest of your body. Make sure you're not clenching your jaw or pulling your head forward like the old chicken. Bit aligned. All right, good. Let's externally rotate. Ah, that famous move right there. Flex the foot so we protect the knee. Yeah, that's a, a good yoga trick that I learned. Keep the foot flexed, and that aligns the bones of your lower leg so that your knee stays happy. Ah, keep moving. Stay tall, stay tall, yes, yes, and we're almost there, good job, there it is, okay folks, nice work, we'll kind of burn through that uh, warm up, let's do a quick jumping jack series, just to kind of integrate everything, one, two, three, four, let those ribs open, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. There it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have yourself a drink of water. Got a nice little group here. We got Elizabeth, we got Heather, we got James, we got John, some of our favorite people here. So having a drink of water, and we'll move into our first thing of the day. So we're gonna work with um, some lateral lunging into some overhead pressing. So we need our dumbbells. I'm gonna use some plates today just to show you that different types of weights are totally acceptable. Okay, so lateral lunging into overhead press. So I'm gonna start here with our, with our pizza pies right next to our shoulders here. And we're gonna take a lunge out with one foot to the side, directly to the side. So big step out, right? Then we're gonna lunge as deeply as we can on that foot, right? Keeping ourselves upright. Then push back to center, we're gonna press overhead. Then we're gonna go other side, step out as far as we can comfortably, get it into a deep lunge right there, push back up one strong, strong solid movement and up, okay? There's our move. So let's go for one minute on this. Now, little tips here, right? As we get along, as, we, as we're starting here, we're still kind of warming things up in the hips a little bit. 
this lateral movement, it takes a little bit of time to kind of get into, you know, the, 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 the hips aren't necessarily quite ready for it yet, right? So it means take your time, right? Take your time as you step out, find that proper footing, and then take your time to sink down, find the right way to get yourself down, then pop up, right? Your first couple reps, you might not be able to get as low, right? Your first couple reps, you might be like, how does my knee go? How do I organize my foot underneath? But as you go on, you'll go, you'll, your body will find the proper orientation for this. So we're pressing in the middle and we're lunging laterally in between, okay? Little unusual kind of setup here, but that's good because we're working multiple planes. We got our sagittal plane, we got our frontal plane, all those really, really good. Good, we're almost there. And let's stop right there, good work. Okay, we're gonna intersperse that with a little bit of core work here. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's do a, a, a plank style thing here first, okay? So take it into the push-up position. Uh, hands right underneath the shoulders. You guys know how to do this. Index fingers point forward, so we're nice and aligned here. Go ahead and give me one leg lifted. Then that same leg drives in. Try to touch the elbow with that knee. Other side, lift it up hot. Bring it in, try to touch the elbow, and repeat. Lift, drive it in. Important to hold this position here when we pull it in. Otherwise, momentum kind of takes over, okay? So do your best on that. Uh, lift high. When you lift, it's all the glute, right? And you want to keep that body nice and oriented. You don't want to lift the butt up, 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 up away from the ground. So you want to stay nice and tall like this. Lift from the hip joint, then drive it across toward the opposite elbow. Okay, let's keep going for about 20 more seconds on this move. So we got a nice brace here. Nice mobilization of that hip and that nice contraction in that diagonal plane, that diagonal uh, line between the opposite whole, uh, shoulder and the opposite hip. All right. Give me about another five seconds on this and then we'll move on to other things. Good. Stop right there. Okay. Well done. Now, we're often finishing, we're often taking the, the, the row kind of to the end. So let's start with the row here. Let's start with the row, why not? So take your dumbbells here, okay? And let's work it like this. Take yourself into our hinge. We worked our hinge right at the beginning, feet parallel and hip width. Fold it over, slight bend in the heels. Go ahead and draw it up in our W position, so upside down W, and then draw it back. So we're just a very simple row here. I just want you to hold that top position just a little bit longer than we sometimes do. So I'll show you from the side. You guys know how to do this. Keep the back long, keep the back super long. One trick you can do if you have something that's the right height for this is actually brace your forehead. You don't wanna do it against you know, something that's too hard. You can take a towel or something, roll it up. If you got like a kitchen counter or maybe a bookshelf or something like that that's maybe yay high, right? Put pad that, put your forehead on there. That might help you keep that back at a good orientation, okay? So try that. You wanna keep that you know, torso locked in the right, right position. Head in that nice, the nice position and arms when they come up in this kind of, I don't know, for some reason I think this is the W. <laughs> Maybe I'm not so good with letter shapes, but this is our move right here at the top. All right, give me 10 more seconds and we'll go back to our lovely side lunge into overhead press. I get the sleep out of my eyes here. All right, good, that's nice. Hold on to your bells. Hold on to your bells and here's our bells and whistles one more time. So alternating sides. Uh, lateral lunge into the press. Remember this guy? Okay, so big step out, sink it down. Yeah, and bring it up. Yeah, you'll find that even on this second set, even though I didn't do too many reps here before, I'm already able to get a little more range of motion because my hips are like, okay, we're ready. We're feeling a little better. So give yourself that chance to get a little bit lower to sink in, really to get into the old adductors here. These inner thigh muscles, which are huge. Your second biggest muscle in your lower body after the glutes is your adductors, right? Often neglected um, part of the body. So take it down, let those adductors get their work in, push it up, press it, and continue. So the unusual move here, right? We got these pressing muscles overhead and we've got our adductors and abductors, quads of course working, glutes working a little bit. All right, so let's keep going 15 seconds on this. Nice move here in the nice day. Get the breath going, yeah, good. I'm seeing some really good form there, that's nice. Yep, great, yep. 
Heather's getting some great depth there. It's good to see. Cool. All right, about five more seconds and we'll get back to our lovely core work. Nice, good. Dumbbells to the side, here we go, into the core. This time, to the back. To the back, to the back. I'm gonna go this way. I don't usually go this way. This is the weird, crazy thing I'm doing today. <laughs> okay, so here we go for this one. Let's go, um, oh, we haven't done this one in a while. Go ahead and draw one knee to the chest. One leg out here like this. Head can float, right? Just have this in the hands. Give me three, one, two, three, hold and squeeze. Really push that lower back to the ground. One, two, three, hold and squeeze. One, two, three, hold and squeeze, and continue. Just like that, all right? 30 more seconds. So really on that squeeze portion, that's where I want you to find that lower back. Press it into the ground, make it work, contract through there, shorten through that whole front side, really brace hard through that stomach, okay? So in a way, for you guys who are, who are really fit, and that's basically all of you now, um, the leg lifting and the head lifting is just a kind of cue on how to access that muscle. You gotta use your mind in order to go 100% and make it really work, you know, that extra 20, 30%. So don't just rely on the, on the gravity of the, um, the head and the, on the leg to, to challenge your stomach. Use your mind to get in there and brace hard. All right, three, two, one, stop. I think I explained that uh, in a uh, pretty unclear way. So <laughs> hopefully that made sense to at least one of you. Okay, so here we are back to our row. We got our dumbbells, our plates, or whatever we got. We got our feet in hip width. We can fold it over. Again, we can brace the head on something if we want to. Draw it up, squeeze, and take it down. Draw it up, squeeze, make that back do its work, and then come down. So as I've said before, to, uh, to you folks, most of you guys are pretty strong in the back. The back tends to be strong because we tend to be just capable of lifting more with the back than, than pushing, right? So what that means is if you don't have proper weights, I mean, most people, will, most people here, I think, would be able to handle like a 25, maybe a 30 on this move, right? But, but probably you don't have it. So what that, is, what, what that means is you have to find a way to make your lighter weights heavier, okay? So what that means is good squeeze at the top, hold it, mind and muscle, then slow down and pop it up fast, hold it, wake it work, mind and muscle, and repeat. If you work like that, then that squeeze at the top, then you can make that heavy, that lightweight feel more like a 30, okay? All right, let's go 15 more seconds. Other way to do it is for me to let you just keep doing this set for ever and ever, just keep talking. <laughs> which I won't do. Let's go for about another four seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Good job. Okay, last one on our lateral um, lunge into overhead press, okay? So here we go, last one. We're gonna go one minute, okay? Last minute here, take it out, make it work, get into that leg, whoa! Back up, here we go. Take it out, other side, sink it, come on up. You should not feel this in the knees. If you're feeling this in the knees, choose a different position for your foot. In other words, you know, for some people, angling the foot out at 45 is gonna help them a little more. For some people, it's gonna feel better to go feet kind of parallel, okay? What you don't wanna do is 90 degrees or more, right? You wanna go somewhere between the 45 and the parallel, all right? Sink down as low as you can, big, large step, and when you're coming back, try to do it in one pop, okay? As opposed to this coming down, step, hop, 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 right? One pop, all right? Let's go for, we're looking at about 10 more seconds here. We'll take us to our one minute, uh, one minute mark. And we are at uh, past the halfway mark in our workout, so we're doing great. And stop right there, good job. Okay, final one. You know what this means on core, we go double trouble. All right, so let's take it down. Take it down, go into the back. Enjoy that. Another level change. It's good to work that. Okay, so we're gonna go big um, explosive here, right? So in other words, we're gonna go in, breath out, okay? Then breathe in, then breathe out as you expand. Ah, enjoy that, then bring it in. Bring it out. Extend and repeat, all right? 30 seconds on this, and then we're gonna go for, oh my, a one minute hollow hold, one minute hollow hold, okay? I will do it with you as we all suffer together in solidarity. And I'm gonna do this with you 
So I'm coming at you. I'm coming at it in the same degree of fatigue as you can. Breathing. Use your breath to make this movement work. Keep going. Five seconds. All right. Good. Rest for a second. Just take a nice deep breath. We're going to go one minute on our hollow hold. Here we go. You ready? All right. Draw that lower back to the ground. Extend the legs out. Find your threshold. Extend out. Flex the feet. Quads are alive. Lower backs on the ground. Hands are reaching up to the sky in an aspirant way, right? Take breaths here, breathe. The breathing will actually expand your stomach, right? And give those muscles just a little bit of a break. Draw that lower back to the ground, work that threshold, all right? We're coming up on halfway there, you guys. Keep those feet flexed, breathe. Stay strong through that stomach. Challenge yourself to get those legs just a little bit lower, but keep that lower back on the ground. How are we doing? 20 more seconds here, you guys. Let's do it. Extend those arms up. Feel that energy flowing across the bowl of your body, just like that. It's not just a stomach exercise. It's full body. Let the whole body get involved, and you'll have a much easier time. Here we go. Eight seconds, guys. Here we go. Breathe. Keep it alive. Extend. Extend nice and strong, and that's it. Good work. I hope everyone made it. If you didn't, that's okay. It's something to work for. Okay, let's get our row, and then we'll take ourselves a little break. All right, guys. Woo, that was good. Got to get your weights, and let's get one set, one final set on our nice row here. Feet at hip width parallel. Fold it over. Here we go. Let's get our row. Take it down. Get our row. Take it down. Oh, take it down. Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Keep going. You know, 45 seconds on this move. Just this, because now I'm serious. I'm getting serious. One minute hollow hold, man. Can't be standing around no hoodie after that. All right. Give me about 10 more seconds on this. And then we'll take a little water break. Now that we got our abs of steel going, three, two, and stop. Nice job, you guys. Okay, drink of water and we'll get on to the next thing. Very, very good. Very good. Yeah. So how'd you do? That's the question. How'd you do on that hollow hole, right? Were you able to keep it the whole time? If so, were you able to keep that lower back on the ground the whole time? If so, were you able to keep those, keep those legs almost to the ground the whole time, right? So there's multiple levels on this, right? Able to hang in there for one minute, that's goal number one. Number two, better form. Number three, even more extended, okay? So, pretty good, you guys. All right, let's do some pressing, and we'll do some, uh, we'll do, I think we're gonna work a little a little more lunging. I know that we just did lateral lunging, but I wanna do some, some uh, reverse lunging as well, just to get into the glutes just a little bit. So what I want on this, I would love for us to do this with weights, because I'd love to throw a curl in here, okay? This upper lower body thing is just, I'm just attached to it. So we got to do it. So we got our weights, okay? We're going to alternately reverse lunge here, okay? So let's go ahead and start. Take a deep lunge back. Hips should be nice and warmed up. Take into a curl at the top of that movement. Let's go to the other side. So we got a nice compound movement here. Take it back into the curl. Take it back, deep lunge into the curl. You'll probably find that having done all that stuff to open up the hips with the lateral lunging and stuff, that this reverse lunge actually feels pretty good, right? Hips are feeling good. Everything's kind of worked out nicely. So you're able to get maybe a little lower, right? Now, the key on this one, don't use the momentum. Try not to use the momentum of coming forward to swing the weights up. We still want the biceps to work. So what that means is you gotta be a little strict when you come up, breathe, then really squeeze, okay? Let's keep going. 10 more seconds on this to get our full minute here. Really nice work, you guys. Really nice work. Good. And stop right there. Okay, guys. Some people hate this move, but this is just what we're doing because it's Friday, okay? We're going to work the 20-second uh, 20 um, 20 second on the mountain climber, okay? Got to work that mountain climber so we get better at it, okay? So today, mountain climber Friday. 20 second burst though, okay? So shorter than what we've been doing. So what that means is 
you gotta lean into it just a little bit more. Find a little more speed, a little more intensity on that mountain climber, okay? So 20 seconds, get your set up, find yourself in a nice push-up position, hands right underneath your shoulders, make yourself long, make sure the head is in a nice neutral position, not hanging down, right? Feet are in shoulder width, drawing those knees to the chest. You, you don't need to touch the toe, that's okay. Just draw knees to chest, alternately, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and let's go into the sprint, okay? 20 seconds, okay? Perfect form, lean into it, good speed, good intensity. You want, it's just a 20 second burst, it's not too much, okay? You're almost done, look at that, five seconds to go. Finishing strong, three, and stop, good work. Okay, cool. Come to standing, let's do one to kind of, to kind of take things down a little bit. So we're gonna do an overhead, oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do a, um, a uh, tricep kickback, okay? So get your weights, okay? So you guys remember how to do this one. We're in hinge position, so we're folded over just like we're in the row. Kick it back, squeeze the triceps. I only got fives here, but if I'm really squeezing, I can make it work. Take it forward, elbows stay glued to the, to the sides, right? And just like that, okay? So no momentum here, hold that top position. You can even roll the hands. I like to roll the palms toward the ceiling just because I can really feel the triceps firing up when I do that. So you can work with that. You can also work palms to the ground. That's another uh, approach. All right, and let's go for about 15 more seconds of this. Good job, you guys. Nice job. It's about eight o'clock at 10 minutes to go. So we'll go through these a couple more times then we'll see. It might be at, uh, a cool down time. Let's see how we do. All right, and stop right there. Good job, okay. You're already holding your dumbbell, so let's get back into reverse lunge into the curl here, okay? So we got our dumbbells in our hands. Take a breath, we're gonna go one minute, here we go. Take it back. Deep lunge, curl, other side, deep lunge. You wanna do a double curl? I'm not gonna stop you. Double curl's okay. Just make sure you got a nice contraction. You're turning and supinating that wrist every time. Supinating, supinating. Now you guys remember this, if you want, take it down, do your curl at the bottom. How about that? Other side, dial it in, do your curl at the bottom. Really make those legs work. How about that? That's optional, okay? That's uh, next level. If you're not feeling up to that, just keep doing what we're doing before. Swing it up, okay? If you're gonna do it at the bottom, you gotta hold that position, dial it in, lock it in with the legs. You don't wanna be wobbly wobbly. You really need to be holding that nice and strong, okay? We're almost there, five seconds to go. Good job, birds are singing, sun's out, we're doing okay. Good, stop it right there, okay. Mountain climber, 20 seconds, here we go. Get a position, nail that awesome mountain climber position. In five seconds, we're gonna do 20 seconds on the clock. Here we go, three, two, let's go. Draw those knees in. Now, coordinate movement with breath. Let the breath drive the movement, right? Like the steam engine, all right? You're more than halfway through, guys. Good, 15 seconds. Sorry, five seconds. And stop right there, good job. Okay, well done. Try some extension, come to standing, get your weights. And we got more level changes, right? When you get up from those, uh, those mountain climbers, you gotta do a level change. Yeah, just how it goes. Okay, so here's our weights. Come on over, hinge position, feet hip width parallel, fold it over, elbows by the side, go ahead and kick it up. Hold it, kick it down, kick it up. Play with, play with palms down, play with palms up, see which one you like better. With my plates, I think I like palms up. Just because it's hard to hold them the other way. Yeah, that's the way I'm gonna do that. All right, keep it going. Oh, my trees start to bloom here. It's kind of nice. Smell that. That's beautiful. All right, give me 10 more seconds. Let's try some and get our last one on these three moves. And that'll take us to like 8.05. And then we'll see. Okay, good. Stop right there. Okay, hold on to those dumbbells. Because we got a little biceps going here. Hold on to them. Okay. So let's get nice and tall. Take it back. Lock it in if you want, curl it, come up. Side, lock it in, curl it, and come up. 
or we got this, just like that, okay? If you want to do a double curl, that works too, okay? Keep that going. We're gonna do one minute. We got about 40 seconds to go. Keep it going, keep it going. We're doing great. Doing really well on this workout here. That's right, yep. Yep, I've seen most people opting for the curl at the top move. Legs are probably a little screaming right now after all that uh, work. We got about uh, 15 seconds to go. It's a lot of lunging today, a lot of lunging. So those legs should feel good. Remember leg strength, leg strength is key, mo key to mobility, key to longevity, right? You wanna keep that leg strength up, you wanna keep that leg muscle mass up. That's why I'm always insisting on squats, lunges, step ups, all this stuff. You're like, oh, come on, can I just work my biceps? Good, let's stop right there, nice job. Last little burst on the mountain climber. Here we go, 20 seconds. 20 seconds gonna take us home on this, all right? Here we go, guys. Ready? I'll do this one with you, why not? Here we go, let's go five more seconds, three. And count them this time, go one, two, three, one. See how many you do. Ready, set, and go. Ten seconds. Hey, time. Good job. All right, folks. Nice. Hope you did well on that. Twenty one per second is pretty impressive on this. On that one, you crank that. That's pretty great. Okay, we got triceps here, guys. Let's do it. Last little one here. How are we doing time? 8.04, we're doing great. We're doing great. Okay, so go ahead and stand in, in um, hinge position. Keep the elbows by the side, kick it up. 30 seconds. Make those triceps do their job, my friend. No bat wings for us, right? We're gonna stay strong, right? Triceps tend to get loose and flaccid over time. Biceps tend to get short and tight over time. Neither eventuality is particularly good. We wanna be able to be mobile and we wanna be able to express strength, okay? We do those two things and the muscles are doing their job, right? We don't wanna be stuck. We don't wanna be stuck short, nor do we wanna be stuck in the lengthened loose position, okay? So on this one, we're teaching those triceps to really go for it here. All right, give me five seconds on this. After all my jabber, and we'll take a little break. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, good work, have a drink of water. Breathe, nice push there you guys, very, very good. Done some good work, we mobilized everything. Really worked that core, really worked some nice shoulders and some nice lunging, multi-directional, burst lunging. We had some pressing, we got pulling, we got mountain climbers, a little burst of power there, we got arms, all super good. So, let's play around with, you know what? Let's do one, one single set of push-ups here and then we'll, then we'll cool down, okay? So, as I said before, always choose your version. Always choose your version that you can do with 100% perfect form, 100% perfect form, but don't skip, right? If you can do a harder version, go for that, okay? So here we go. You can go on your knees, you can go on your, uh, on your uh, elevated hands, you can go on the floor, you can go feet elevated. Here we go, we're gonna do 30 seconds. I want just your best, immaculate, perfect form push-ups in whatever form you got. Here we go. So let's go ahead and start. Take it down. Take it. Take it down. Let those shoulder blades come together. That will make your life easier because you got a lot of big muscles controlling those shoulder blades. And if you if you engage those, it makes the movement way way easier. We got ten seconds to go. Push. Grab the ground, make your hands do some work too. Push. Almost there, about five seconds. Push. And time. Nice job. Okay, guys, good work. Um, grab yourself. We need a sweatshirt or a, um, a band, something like that. I'm going to do this with my sweatshirt just to show you how easy this is. Okay, so we're going to do a nice overhead stretch here. So take your object. You can use a broomstick on this. You can stand in a doorway and do this, right? So here's what I want. Get your feet neutral, parallel, shoulder width. 
straighten your arms up overhead and then slowly with breaths let this carry you this way i don't want the head forward like this i want the head on top of the spine so think of it you might also want to think about tucking the head back just breathe here just breathe right so don't you don't need to strain anything and over time you will feel the biceps and the chest will start to relax and you'll begin over time you'll begin to get that um, get the arms a little further behind you okay if it's too easy Go with a, sh a more narrow grip, right? If you're like, oh, this is no problem, then you need to hold your object more narrowly, right? Does that make sense? So deep breaths right here. Breathe into your chest, lift the sternum, yeah? And then we will get that nice open feeling. There's research that shows that as coming into this position, this open position, this extended position through the spine actually elevates your mood, right? It sends this message to your nervous system. Hey, I'm not afraid. I'm ready to face the world. There's research that actually kind of confirms this. It's called power posing. So if you're feeling in a kind of lousy mood, do this stretch. And after 60 seconds, you actually feel better. It reduces cortisol and it, it, it amps up testosterone. So those two things tend to work on a seesaw. Cortisol is a stress hormone. Testosterone is like your, yeah, let's go do this hormone. And uh, okay, good job. Let's do one little breath here. I realize it's about 810, so let's just take one breath, breathe in, stretch up, breathe out, roll over, hang over for a moment. Nice job. Slowly roll up one more time, reach up to the sky. Ah, and come down, resolve, just bring the arms down. Ah, good job, everybody. All right. Fitness challenge, people. I just sent out a new list of projects today. It's about exercise, it's about strength training. It's about cardio. It's about high intensity interval training. Check it out. There's a video involved. So look at that. See, see what you think and take a look at the projects. Everyone else, thanks so much for being here. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow morning, two days in a row. I'm so happy to see you guys. Thanks a lot, Elizabeth, Heather, Dad, John Short. Peace. Have a great day.